there, boys, girls, I want y'all to hear me when I say this. I want to tell y'all a story real quick before we go any further. This is my favorite example of what a holler boy is. And it's because of what was noticed, who the person was, and what was done, and what the person said back to me. I used to get up on, when I used to live on North Pool in the other house, I'd get up every morning, I'd sit in my chair upstairs, and I would watch outside. I would just look outside, watch people driving on the street. My next door neighbor, I noticed he got up every morning, five o'clock, go to work, five o'clock, go to work, five o'clock, go to work every fucking morning. Bunch of tools, had all his work clothes on, five o'clock every morning, every morning, every morning. One morning I go upstairs, I got my coffee, I'm looking out the window. I'll never forget this. It was a cloudy day and it was fucking drizzling rain. His car wasn't in the driveway. But you know where he was at five o'clock in the morning? He was sitting on the front porch with all of his tools and all of his work clothes, waiting for some other workers to come pick him up at five o'clock in the morning. A few days go by and all those days, he was on the front porch with all of his tools at five o'clock in the morning with no car in the driveway. The workers who came to pick him up every day came at the same time. You know why? Because even if they didn't hear from him, they would know that he was reliable enough that he would be sitting on that porch waiting to go to work. One morning, they pull up to get him. Hell, he would he would see him pull onto the damn street and he would get up so they didn't even have to pull in the driveway. He just jumped in the truck and they kept going around the block. As they pulled off and he went to work, I was like, man, this dude's been on it. He's been up every day with or with no car, making it work. I thought to myself, what vehicle do I have that you can put work tools in, that's easy to work on, semi-cheap on gas, that runs good enough to get him to where he needs to go? The only vehicle I had, and everyone knows I keep vehicles that are in music videos. The only vehicle I could think of that I had that would fit that category of what he's doing was my old white Tahoe that's in the music video, Miss My Buddies. I could use I drank my coffee, I went down to the tag place in Ashland City, I got a duplicate title, and when he got home, I gave him the title of that truck because he needed it more than I did. He told me, no, nah. he was like, I can't take this. He said, he said, well, when I do get me something else, I'll just give it back to you. And I was like, don't even worry about it. This, this eliminates that problem for you. You're one of these kind of people that you deserve this shit. That's a holler boy. Somebody who does something for somebody, even though it's not beneficial for themselves, out of the goodness of their heart, they know that it's beneficial for them, so they do it anyways. Selflessness. And you can't fucking teach that. Obviously.